job is uh, to, together with our team, which is about 30 people, to deliver the, uh, the world feed television signal, which means the coverage of, of, of the game playing here in Lusay. And uh, for this purpose, we have, on this stage of the tournament, which is the group phase still, we have 15 cameras, uh, which is more or less uh, uh, what we will continue with until uh, the 8th final uh, begins. And then we'll add another one or two cameras to the final weekend with semi-finals and finals. But if you look, now we're in Lusay, um, and we are around the field of play, we have uh, position cameras, which is, let's say, what we normally, how we cover. So we try to ensure that every angle, uh, accident, incident, what happens, goal, of course, we, we try to, uh, to show it with those cameras. Because every, ga every game is a kind of uh, new start, because uh, it's a kind of storytelling like going to the theatre. The only difference between live sport on this level and, and theatre is that we don't have any kind of script because we don't know who will win and who will lose, who will be the heroes and who will be maybe the, the player having a bad day or whatever. So this is why we try to do this kind of, uh, it's, how can we say, it, uh, prepared a camera setup so we can cover whatever was, 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 was take place. So if you kind of look up here on, on the main stand, um, we have up here uh, three cameras. The main camera, which is uh, covering the ball in play, it is on about half of the time for a full match. And the main camera is showing all the players. So, the, because handball is very much a trained sport with a lot of running patterns and, and how they play the ball. So we try to, to focus on that. Next, up there we have another two cameras making close-up of the players. We have uh, cameras in, in the corners, on uh, which is low cameras, to show the pace of the game, to slow motion and to timeouts use. For every team, we have cameras on, on the middle of the stand, uh, a little bit like in football, the offside cameras, uh, showing the goals or the situation from a lower and towards goal perspective. We have uh, cameras on the reverse side, two, which is covering uh, both benches, one of each team, the coaches and the players. We have a, a remote camera behind the goal, which um, is very good because the cameras is covering. Uh, Every, every situation uh, from um, uh, well, the player's perspective and the goalkeeper's perspective, so we can choose. And a lot of uh, ex, uh, both, both um, incidents and accidents happening is when you confront players, and we can show very good uh, for those cameras. Uh, was this a correct decision or was it a wrong decision, whatever. And then we have also, uh, on the top here, we have a top camera, which on the group stage is a fixed position. But later, uh, towards the final, we will have uh, it's a wire cam concept which can fly around the venue, like uh, seen at the FIFA World Cup and and uh, and, uh, and the UEFA Champions League. Three, two, one. Yeah. And here we have uh, this is the production control. Uh, which where in this switcher you see here we we gather all the 15 cameras we discussed about and we have on this setup also six slow motion replay discs um, uh, so more, all cameras are to slow motion so we can show uh, every camera in, in replay and it's based on discs which means that even though we are playing something out the disc recorder still sees what the camera sees and put it into the disc and we can create packages and and uh, jump in time uh, very, very easy. Uh, but in this here, you physically, now, um, if when you when uh, you back home, look at the, um, the match covers, the physical buttons to push is here. You see here, one, two, three, six, seven, four, five. I push during the match, because what is the most important thing, we have to show what is going on in the match, so the match decides what we do, and not the other way around. So we will try to do our best to bring the, the right cameras on in, in respect of the game and what's going on. On the second level of the switcher, we have um, we have the replays. I can, when you press here, we have the replays. And maybe if you have a look at the monitor, please, I can show you here. I can just show you that we will, um, depending on the setup, uh, we, we can we can we can um, put a different uh, the different replays on on on, uh, on uh, the output of the truck, which is seen by you uh, back home even if you're in Europe or in Australia and South America. Um, this output is seen 
as the world feed, whatever it is. This, now we are, uh, we are in the middle of the tournament, so uh, everything is more or less on the track. So uh, we will typically be here at the venue three hours before. Uh, tonight we have a local match start at seven, so we will be here at four, which is more or less now. And we will, uh, then the uh, camera and the slow motion, the sound, uh, everybody around in this facility where we are about 30 people will be here in half an hour. And we will meet and discuss what's, what, how uh, things are taking place today. The first match we have today is uh, German-Argentina. Germany-Argentina, that means that we will do interviews before and after the match for the German colleagues. Uh, and then we have another match, Denmark-Russia. Uh, we'll see what, if anything is booked. So we should provide interviews before and after the match. And then we have a test typically an hour and a half before uh, uh, start our first match. Mm -hmm.